Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTexHomePage.com as well as the OracleTexHomePage.com app. Let's give you the latest on burn bans as we've seen so far today as of this recording. You can see the areas in red uh, under burn bans. Today we added Gregg County in East Texas as far as the latest addition to the burn ban list. Good news is a longer range we do have some uh, needed rain and uh, the potential for quite a bit of it here as we look ahead to the end of the seven day period. Here's a look at the weather pattern that we have in place right now. We do have a little bit of a weakness over the lower Mississippi Valley. Uh, you can see producing the showers and thunderstorms over southeast Louisiana and parts of Mississippi. Upper level high pressure is going to eventually build back over the middle of the country. And that is going to warm us up a few more degrees and uh, despite that, uh, the center of this high is going to be to our north. We will see at least a chance for a pop-up shower and thunderstorm uh, pretty much each and every day. You can see that ridge kind of bridging together there and notice as we move especially into the end of next week pretty good trough developing there across the northeastern sections of the country that's going to usher a cold front into the Oracle Tex which is going to stall. We'll see a piece of upper level energy. You can see it right here uh, centered just to our north and west. That upper level feature is going to keep a chance of rain. It begins Wednesday and it will continue Thursday Friday and potentially could uh, see that chance of rain linger through next weekend. As far as the latest on rainfall potential. Let's take you through the next week and you can see that uh, next couple of days not much but as we move towards the end of the period you can see the latest run of this particular model still showing good solid one to two inches across uh, much of the area. Other models have anywhere from two to four inches of rainfall so some decent agreement in the models that uh, pretty certain we're going to get some rain. The only question is exactly how much right now a good solid one to two inches seems to be a relatively good possibility. As far as uh, the next couple of days looking at Robin's Toyota you future cast you can see that uh, tonight looking at a uh, clear to partly cloudy sky as any rain across the region should end. Tomorrow we will see a mix of clouds and sunshine. Notice a slight chance for the pop-up shower. Notice too how small they are here so not very much coverage. I'm going to put your rain chance here tomorrow through the weekend into a Tuesday about 10 percent at best the way it looks right now as we'll probably for most of us have to wait until the end of next week to see a more promising rainfall. You can see we uh, will see any rain that pops up tomorrow wrap up as we'll see a partly cloudy sky tomorrow night. And notice too the south wind relatively light bringing up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico so it won't be quite as mild at night uh, here uh, moving forward as uh, last night we tied a record again in Shreveport at 63 degrees looking at lows in the 70s from here on out. You can see Sunday again relatively low end and rainfall chances with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Talk about temperatures. You can see lows tonight, mainly in the low 70s. Could have some lingering upper 60s across the north and northeastern sections of the area. Uh, Shreveport right around 72 tonight. 70 in Texarkana. 70 also for the low temperature in Marshall. Daytime highs tomorrow should rebound back up to normal in the middle 90s. 94 in Marshall, Shreveport, as well as Mansfield. 93 in Hope and 93 also for the high temperature in Texarkana. So here are the details in your seven day forecast. Start you off at Shreveport and you can see uh, only 10% at best I think as far as rainfall chances through Tuesday. Those chances will increase for the last half of next week as we'll see daytime highs mid 90s through Tuesday cooling off towards the end of the week as we'll see more clouds and more widespread rains Thursday and Friday. So temperatures probably in the upper 80s to low 90s. Overnight lows in the week ahead will likely stay in the 70s. In Texarkana, U2 looking at low end rainfall chances pretty much each and every day. Can't totally rule it out as you'll see highs in the mid 90s cooling into the upper 80s by the end of next week. Your overnight lows also will stay in the lower 70s. So all in all, looks like rather typical August weather here for the weekend. Slight chance for the afternoon thunderstorm, mix of sunshine and clouds, lows in the low to middle 70s, and highs for the most part in the middle 90s.